also our um, starboard engine, which yep. did not work. You can probably hear it in the background. Is working. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, we had to get a new starter and we just fired it up and it is running, which is a huge, huge deal here. So, ah, yay! Super, super happy. Um, David has been working on this all morning. He had to go into school and get a new starter. Um, now it's another however many bucks. Woohoo! Baby's happy now. And blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> if you're wondering what the band, if you're wondering what the bandage on his forehead is, oh yeah, baby. Um. Pulling off the old starter, the wrench broke and smacked him in the head, and uh, he was bleeding all over the place. So anyway, but we're good. Oh my gosh. Um, motor starts. Oh, super happy. So we just got the starboard engine running. We're going to fire them both up now. We're planning on leaving tomorrow, so yeah, 600 bucks and change. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Yeah, happy, happy. Both of them are running. <laughs> yes. Two engines. Yeah, run. Oh, super, super good. Isn't that a beautiful sound? Woohoo! We are, we are so happy. Very good. Perfect. Yeah, well, 600 bucks later, there you go. There you go. Oh. Both in gear, forward and reverse. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 575 bucks. Are you still filming? I am. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> So we're off to Stewart hopefully tomorrow. Both engines are running. Everything that we needed to do. Hella flicking Luya. Everything we needed to do before. Oh my gosh. Done. Yeah, no, this has been a couple of very stressful days. So the adventure begins, although a little slowly. We are both engines running. We are out in the St. Lucie Channel. Came around the corner and there's a train coming. So the Indian Town Railroad Bridge is closed. So we have to wait. So it's a hurry up and wait. Said They said half an hour or so. Um, Ah, la, la, la. Oh well, but so far so good. Cat's doing good. Captain's doing good. <laughs> and we are floating. We're just kind of drifting around in the channel here. We're going to have some boats on both sides of the bridge when we go through there. Um, on the other side waiting, there's one behind us. That would be the train bridge. Do we have a number for Cloud and, and uh, there's a boat on the other side waiting to come our way and then there's a sailboat behind us that is waiting to come through with us. So after this we go to the lock and we get to go through the lock and then we will might be on our way to Stewart. Hopefully um, we might end up being at anchor from what I hear the um, mooring field is pretty full. We have a friend up there who hopefully we can get his mooring ball because he's going to be leaving. There's a weather window for people going to the Bahamas so he might be able to go and we're going to nab his mooring ball which is right where we were last year so that'll be great. We That's like that idea. I want to be that, on that would be absolutely ball again. great. Yep. Been thinking about that. We are underway again. Um, it's probably 10 miles 
to the lock um, that we have to go through. We're doing good. Everything's righty tighty. Voltage is good. Water temperatures are good. The motors are both running wonderfully. The cat is doing well. We do have a bit of a breeze coming up. Hopefully that won't be an issue going through the lock. Um, locks are pretty much, or the river is pretty much east to west, or going north east as we come around some corners. Um, and you're always on the south side of the lock when you come in, so. So, it'll be fun, we hope. <laughs> this is the big uh, Indian Town Center Marina. This was built a couple years ago. Pretty enormous, and they have a lot of fairly large boats, and I think like cruise boats that they and tugboats I'm seeing over here actually um, that they cater to. I think obviously still under construction, but they're in business. Banana. Banana, they're called. It looks like an aluminum boat with yellow. <laughs> oh, I, my tummy's all tummy right now. We kind of a nerve wracking morning, nerve wracking time, but everything's good so far. We will check everything once we get to Stewart. We'll probably be at anchor. Pandard is cold, I think, but that's okay. We've been there before. Unless we can find a spot. So, unless we can get a mooring ball, that would be awesome. But we'll see. We'll see what happens.